What's up, guys? We are head to an accident for the local sheriff's department. Not too uh, sure what's going on with this one. I didn't really hear anything on the scanner. They said we're picking up a brave Jeep. And I don't really have too many other details. Didn't hear anything about injuries or anything like that. You would keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers. We're headed that way. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Looks like we're pulling up here. It's right about where I was expecting. Just real tight S curve. We've worked a number of accidents in this spot here. This is. Oh, it is rolled over. a gray jeep that is not a gray jeep I hope I'm in the right spot this is gonna be a fun one if it is we have a flashlight here take a look at what we got whole bunch of cleanup. How's it going? Good. This is, you had Campbell's for this one, right? Yes. Okay. They told me a gray Jeep and that's like, that looks like a white No, um, they went off of the collars. Uh, oh, license plate. I got you. Okay. They gave a K instead of an X. Okay. I want to say that is definitely a white Toyota, not a gray Jeep. Yeah. Um, the driver got away. Like they left it, or? Yeah. <laughs> I, they had open containers, so there were. I, I heard. It sounds like an intox lock beeping in there. Is what it sounds like to me. Yep. So oh, probably well. not their probably not their first one then. <laughs> probably yeah. not. No, I couldn't find my better book. That was probably. Oh, book. you're good. All right, and then tow company is Campbell's, right? Yep. You Thank you. Thank you. Um, probably. You know block it? Yeah, if I get that one lane, that would that would help. Right. Thank you. I'll probably put on sirens just so they can pay attention a little more. Right. Okay. okay. All right. So we're gonna have fun with this one. Get some pictures. Snap a few pictures for me. Probably gonna have to mute some audio in this one. Give us this lane here. Once I get it rolled, I can probably do most of the work off the shoulder. up as little of the road as I got to. Just not expecting to pull up on a road. That off to the side. 
grab my side puller. need any rigging out of that one. I will get one of my uh, chains. So I, uh, People stopping in the middle of the road. Had uh, numerous questions about how I rig rollovers because I use a different chain instead of using my uh, bridle. Let's see. Yes. I'm just gonna hop up here like this. I uh, have found that it's easier to my mind use a chain instead of the whole bunch of brake lines on this thing I like using the uh, it's trying to come to the leaf spring here I like using a chain as opposed to the uh, bridle because it's longer and then I can change the uh, angle of the uh, each leg individually. And this right here, right here, right here. Basically, it allows me to have all this extra, like this, to where I can use the uh, gonna close so what I do is I get that pair link wherever it went where did I put it oh, right here. and I will guesstimate the length of this leg and the length of this leg so that I have a square Pull. I'll show you in just a second. So instead of it wanting to slide the vehicle around, so that is the angle. Both legs are tight. I'll have one loose and one tight to where it's going to spin the vehicle around. I 
messed up. I should have went to that other side. That was really dumb. That was really dumb. Now I gotta re-rig that. I should have went up here instead of down low like that. That was dumb. I knew better than that. But I didn't do it. Tighten this one up. Leave it like that. chains they hold when you need them to hold and you just reach under there real quick pop them loose come right off I can't believe I messed up like that oh well I'm right here. I'm gonna slide the back end over just a little so that it's positioned a little better for when I go to try to load this thing. this thing is in. That's back in the park now. It should stay put. Now I can roll this stuff up. I get to go and throw all those tools back into the back of the truck. and 
everything back in. Might uh recognize this particular corner of the road not too long ago had a, I think it was a blue Harley a customized Harley that was that was uh, actually on the opposite side of this same corner over there Whole bunch of cleanup here. Toolbox is going to be fun to get in the back of this thing. Assuming the tailgate opens up. Assuming. Sides on lot. There it goes. There no, I'm gonna get a bunch of comments about. Why the deputy is not down here helping and how crappy that is of them. Personally, I would rather her stay over there. Make sure somebody doesn't run into us. Because that's all we would. That's all we need is some other drunk to come through here. now Heineken and a Papa John's topper don't drink and drive folks don't drink and drive say why well I guess say they were a plumber Good enough for this one, I think. Oh. It's too hot for this. Even at night. Still like 80, 90 degrees out. That's good. Good. Trash bag. Use this. I don't have to get one of my own out. That's expensive.
I use the Milwaukee version of that. Oh boy. like three gallons of water after this. Oh. Over the top it goes. Couple more of the big stuff here. All right. Pretty now. see for two seconds. Boy. Windows are all fogged up now. Try like that so we're not in that lane any over there. I'm assuming we can get it back into neutral since I think the keys are still in it and everything. Hopefully the steering works. I don't think it's gonna fight us too hard being on an incline like that. I don't have a free spool, so I'm just gonna winch out real quick. Because all the brake lines are on the front or on the back side of the axle. We're not wrapping a chain all the way around them. neutral. Which way are my wheels pointed? That doesn't close. That's pointed kind of the right direction. Come on. Alright. Now, hopefully this thing is Rear wheel drive. 
slide the back end over. It's in park, so it's going to go more towards the winch. The front tires are kind of steering themselves around how I want right now. So the rear end is going to come up. I need to see if I can steer this. Actually, the steer is pretty easy. So that way, the front end comes straight up onto the bed. Just like that. Now, I can strap that shut. Traffic's coming. this shut real quick and then probably just throw a strap on it get us out of here let's see headrest two let's try the get back to the uh a pillar. Just enough to keep this door shut. Oh man. Didn't catch. These ratchets have a little safety lock, right? There. Ah. Roll the bed on up. Screw these mosquitoes. Throw a chain on this real quick. strap on this side. I don't know who you are. I don't have time. You can get this one chain on here and snug it up. Move out the road. You good with me? Good. You good? Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We got it safe to move down the road. I believe there's a uh, Little parking lot right around the corner here. What you had to reach that I can uh, pull off at and get this thing strapped down the rest of the way. Okay. All right, so we pulled off to this little gas station down the street so we could get this thing secured down. I uh, didn't want to keep the uh, road blocked any longer than we had to. So I got it safe to go 
down the road. We'll deal with it over here. Oil dripping around everywhere. See what I'm doing, but I'm clicking the control arms there. Two points on the back. So now there's these two. Good enough. Good enough. This wheel is completely packed full of mud. I'm not going to strap through that one. This wheel is good. Let's see if uh, they got a, should be a frame slot somewhere. I think I can strap next to this one. I hope the footage out there came out decent. Whenever I went to come out over here, I noticed there was a, a drip of sweat that had caught the top of the camera, draining down the lens. So this uh, Max lens mod that I have on this camera it's supposed to be a hydrophobic lens meaning it water doesn't stick to it so I hope that's true I guess we'll find out whenever I review the footage there's plenty of spots to hook the frame over here on this side I didn't turn my work lights on. That would have helped a little bit. Sorry, right. I got my guardian angels. A lot of times I won't, especially on the side of the road. I'm just like loading a car or something. I won't even turn on my work lights. I'll use solely my guardian angels for my personal lighting. That way I leave my warning lights going. A lot of times the white work lights will blind oncoming traffic. Kind of washes out the red and blues, the ambers or whatever lights I'm using at that time. So we got this one loaded up. We're going to head on to the yard with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all would. Please subscribe, like, and share. This is for everybody that said in the comments, I need to clean my windshield.